Welcome back guys. Uh, today I am doing a review, um, a kind of a mini review uh, of Sparky Linux. I had done a review of Sparky back uh, on version 4.0. This is 4.1. Uh, not a whole lot has changed. Some upgrades. Uh, the things that I like about Sparky Linux have not changed. Number one, it uh, runs Debian testing, which I prefer, it gives you a little bit better access to the latest um, applications and opens up a few doors that don't exist within the Debian stable. And also they add uh, some functionalities, a few utilities that make Sparky stand out from the typical Debian install. Uh, so if you look in system tools, <clears throat> Excuse me. You have Spark, Sparky, Apt, Us, and Apt Us Extra. Now, Apt Us is a utility that um, helps you upgrade your system, so you can safely upgrade, which uh, eliminates some of the uh, upgrade options, uh, keeps it a little bit more stable, less risk, less prone to bugginess. Uh, you can refresh your package list. You can upgrade the system, which is a full upgrade. Uh, then you can remove non-free packages, removed old system kernel, remove the pack a package from the system, and remove virtual box guest utilities. You can fix broken packages by apt and by dpackage. You can remove all the Debian packages because once the install is done, then the Debian package really isn't needed. Um, you can remove old Debian packages, which I assume, I haven't tried this, but I assume it uh, goes by a date and the date of install and remove unnecessary packages, packages that are not being currently used by any of your applications. Um, that's, I'm assuming this is similar to auto clean, the command auto clean. And then uh, you can edit your main repository and edit your custom repositories. So that makes uh, maintenance of the system as far as application management makes maintenance a little bit easier. So that's added, um, which you don't normally see within a typical Debian install. And also they've got the apt us extra, which uh, basically gives you the option to install a lot of other packages that are not installed by default. So you can install packages that uh, you might want, but that were not included in the default package list. I didn't install too many from this, um, but I did install um, a couple. I, I installed Google Chrome um, and, and a few others. You can go through um, and take a look at it to see if there's anything that might interest you. Um, I installed this XNViewMP. It looks interesting. It's a free photo editor, manager, and viewer, which I was actually looking for a uh, package that would also manage, allow me to view my photos, manage them within the system, and also do some light editing. And this looks like it might fit that bill. So I am gonna take a closer look at that. But you can install Steam, which I did. Um, there is a there is a, a cup there are a couple of things like the um, Compton Sparky Compton Sparky Conky uh, that uh, helps you you can modify the Conky that's that's uh, included by default and um, actually I think I'm going to do a video on how to modify a Conky what to look for in the Conky file just to do some light modifications for example, changing the name that shows here. Um, you can see my Ethernet connection is registering 
upload and download, total download, total upload. It wasn't out of the box. You have to go into the con key and modify it to, to, to actually start using this, this function. Now, I don't have a uh, Wi-Fi on this particular computer right now, so you can see it's not measuring it. But um, it, you are able to make some modifications to the con key. And then once you do that, you can save it and use that con key in other systems, which is very nice. So uh, Sparky gives you that ability uh, right out of the box. Um, now, uh, so I, those are some of the reasons that I like Sparky Linux. Um, on this particular, I, I've never had any issues with Sparky before, so I don't know if there's an issue uh, something went wrong with the install but I, I'll tell you I've had a couple of issues with this install number one uh, when I emptied the trash um, I lost all of my icons on the desktop and they would not come back until I rebooted that was issue number one number two I had a 4.4 gigabyte file that I wanted to move from my desktop to a USB drive, a, uh, a USB stick. Now the USB stick is 128 gigs, so and it's almost completely empty. It's a new one. Um, it it uh, failed on the um, copying. Uh, it locked up my system, and I had to actually do a hard reboot of the entire system in order to get the system back up and running. I tried again to copy that 4.4 gigabyte file to that USB. It got almost done and it said it only had a few seconds left and then it gave me an error message saying something went wrong. So uh, that was two issues and I ended up having to reboot again um, to get back to a normally functioning system. So I don't know if that's a function of Sparky, the, this 4.1. I've never seen any issues on Sparky before. And so, um, and I wouldn't let that discourage you from installing it. Sparky is a fine distribution. Uh, there could be something going on with that particular file. But uh, nevertheless, um, those are the two issues that I had. Other than that, everything's working fine. And so, uh, again, if you're looking for a, a Debian uh, distribution, uh, this Sparky is certainly uh, at the top of my list. Um, I like the fact that it runs testing, as I mentioned. And so, if you are looking for a uh, Debian distribution that provides additional functionality, has some proprietary features that no one else uh, has put together, um, then uh, Sparky may fit the bill for you. So I will give it two thumbs up in spite of the couple of issues that I had. So that's it for this uh, mini review of Sparky Linux, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.